Hello everyone. This is my volume on the wizard's room. It's made out of a dictionary that you can get. It's a large one, of course. And each of the different sections can be taken apart and carved, you know, how you carve the box into the book kind of thing. But this is the lock. Up close, I guess. And it's made out of paper. I just took paper and folded it, gave it the antique leather look with the Mod Podge, with a little bit of dye, you know, on the sponge first to give it some brown color. And then I took the cutters, the uh, dies, and did the corner. And I did it out of um, uh, the gold paper, and then I antiqued it. Um, but this is the book. And like I say, it's quite a large book. But the magic is on the inside. When you open it, you see the wizard's room. You see? So all the bottles and things are on the inside cover. All the different things that a wizard would have. All the different bottles. I don't know how those labels stuck. They didn't stick on my other one. It's really hard to get stupid labels to stick to glass. But I put a piece of uh, cardboard on the inside here because the pages got rather bumply. So I went ahead and put that in there, but I painted the inside of the cover and then I put um, cardboard all around, top, bottom, walls, gave it the antique stone uh, brick look on the floor as well, put in a shelf, put in an old piece of miniature furniture that I had, bottles and herbs, of course, that the wizard would have, the books and such. Then I made a table out of cardboard and made a big book. Uh, again, you'd have to go to uh, Heather Tracy to get her book. Gives you the outside, the inside pages and everything and you can make a lovely book. And then of course I made uh, little tiny little books. But it sits up of course. So you can either have it sitting up or have it closed, however you want to do it. Because it sits up by itself. But see these things here, like regular albums, you take those out, and then you can go to the individual sections and carve them out as sections. It's a lot easier to do that rather than do the entire book. So there it is. And uh, I hope you like it. I hope it's interesting for you. I am into miniatures, so I'm going to be doing a lot of my house later on. Right now I'm into the mini albums, so I'll be doing some of those. But you can go to my uh, Etsy store and look and see what I've got to sell. Most of these things are just things that I've made that I'm going to keep. So you might want to go there and get some ideas on how to do something, what it should look like, and all that. Well, thanks for watching. You have a good day. Bye-bye.